Now to a CBS 19 special report, man's best friend helping to improve the lives of many people with disabilities. Yeah, service dogs are specifically trained to help with a variety of problems such as visual impairment, hearing difficulties, and mental illness. CBS 19 Kenley Hargett takes a look at how these canines are changing people's lives. Finding new ways to help those with disabilities can help them live normal lives. Adopting a service or therapy dog is becoming more popular due to Texas state law support. I met a couple that advises anyone going through a disability to adopt. There you go. Nancy and Elton Sanders say their lives wouldn't be the same without True, a Belgium sheepdog with an important responsibility, watching over Nancy. I don't hear much of anything. So therefore, I need something to alert me to sound. Sanders has been deaf her entire life. Her service dogs serve as her ears. For example, we had somebody break in the, my brother-in-law's truck in the driveway, and he was growling. And that's how we were alert to somebody breaking into the truck. The Sanders have been married for 40 years. True is the fourth canine on their training to become a service dog. The way he helps me is he helps her, and I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to be with her all the time. Service dogs can help with a range of disabilities, diabetic alert, visual assistance, wheelchair assistance, mobility support, medical alert, seizure assistance, and autism assistance. The Sanders tell me the main requirement on selecting and training a service dog is maturity. It doesn't matter whether the dog is a rescuer pedigree, the dog has to be mature enough to learn. True is three years old and Nancy says he is finally mature enough to take commands. The Sanders have trained True so well that he typically doesn't lose focus on his task. Even something as simple as dropping food on the ground, True won't eat without permission. They can let go of his leash and he will not walk or run away. True is constantly on alert, ready to warn Nancy. Service dogs can be seen almost anywhere. Texas state law requires public facilities and transportation carriers to admit a person with a disability accompanied by a service dog for assistance. The dog's trainer is also allowed to come for training purposes. It's a crime to deny access to people with disabilities because of an assistance animal. The penalty is punishable by fines of not more than $300 and 30 hours of community service. State employees may obtain up to 10 days of paid leave to attend a training program. Yeah. <laughs> Buster is one of many therapy dogs at Therapet and Tyler. Therapy dogs differ from service dogs because they can be around a group of people and serve many different tasks. Service dogs can only serve one person. Unconditional love. They can relax you. They can calm you. Therapet takes their dogs to hospitals, schools, prisons, and businesses to bring moral support and relieve stress. He interacts well. Doesn't matter if they're children, to adults, to advanced age seniors. Um, he just, just really enjoys it. If you would like to learn more about adopting a service or therapy dog, Visit our website, cbs19.tv, for information. In the studio, Kenley Hargett, CBS 19.